at the northeast corner of Clark and Erie is an Irish bar called the Keratin. This location has a past that stretches back more than a hundred years and a musical history that includes the Dead Kennedys and Capone nemesis Tian O'Banion as a singing leader. In 1908, it was McGovern's, a hangout for criminals and lowlifes. It was also where a 16-year-old Dean Charles O'Banion got his first legit job, mopping floors and serving beers, all the while serenading the distinguished clientele. As head of the Northside Gay, McGovern's was their favorite watering hole. It became McGovern's Liberty Inn in 1939, featuring blues music and exotic dancers. After closing at 4 a.m., it was where musicians got together to jam. Among those who dropped by were Dizzy Gillespie, Anita O'Day, and Billy Holiday. In 1950, it was sold and became just Liberty Inn, building itself as Chicago's largest strip club. In 1972, the space was home to PQs, the city's first gay live DJ disco. That only lasted a couple of years before changing to a lesbian bar called Miz, then a gay leather bar, until 1978 when it became a legendary punk rock club. Romanians was a dive of a place that lasted only a four years, but made quite a name for itself. Besides the Dead Kennedys, they also hosted Husker Du, The Replacements, as well as most of the local punk rock bands. I spent a lot of time there myself in the early days, including a New Year's Eve where it was all you could drink and eat for $25. Ah, those were the days.